Yeah, and it has my company on it, too. We are so using this. Oh, good, good. I'm really glad. That's me right there. Yeah. I could have warned Sherry Anders that the man she knew was Martin Lewis was already married to another woman. Yeah, Sherry married him when he was in the witness protection program, and he was already married to somebody else. But the U.S. Marshals hadn't moved the wife into the witness protection program yet. And oh, so when, sure. when she married him, he was single. Because his new name was Martin Todd Lewis in the witness protection program. His name is Henry Hill. And Nick Pelleggi did a story on him, The Odd Fellows. And um, now this is, see, that's me. That's a little article on me in the 80s. Detectives rely on savvy, yeah. not charm. Yeah, that's me. So it's nice. Hello, I want to give you an update on what's happening with uh, Sherry Anders, Henry Hill movie. Um, apparently, uh, the movie has been in the creation, the screenplay is being made, and uh, maybe March or April, uh, Sherry's going to go up to Vancouver, BC to work on the film. Now, that is the film that. Um, that is the film that uh, Matthew Pearl and Greg Nichols wrote in their blog, Secrets and Wives. And in that article, uh, Matthew Pearl and Greg Nichols put my company and me in 14 pages of the blog. Uh, you can look it up on the internet. It's called Secrets and Wives. It's about Sherry Anders and Henry Hill. Now, how I got involved, I was a private eye. I still am. I still own my company. And the Judd Bernstein, who is a New York law firm, hired me to find Sherry Anders. And when I found Sherry Anders, uh, she was working in a hair salon, and she was also working for King Five and Channel Nine. And she was the, doing the hair and makeup for those channels. And I was on as a guest with a few other private eyes, and we were on Seattle Today. It's a morning show. And when she was doing my makeup, she says, don't tell anybody here how you met me because I don't want them to know that I was married to Henry Hill. So uh, that's how I met Sherry Anders in a lawsuit in New York federal court. And it was uh, getting information on Henry Hill. And Judd Bernstein was my client and it was 1989. And we were pursuing, finding out all sorts of things. I went up to Friday Harbor uh, because Henry Hill had gotten a DUI in Friday Harbor. I went to Kirkland and Redmond because Henry Hill had gotten involved in a, a, a case where he uh, broke into a store and fell asleep. And that was in New York, that was in a lawsuit in downtown Seattle federal court. Uh, judge Whalen or one of the judges came in from LA uh, to handle that case and that was like a four or five day case maybe a two week case I can't remember now but it was a long time ago and uh, I sent the transcripts to my client and it was just a fascinating case so anyway uh, thank you uh, right now during COVID uh, my business is very slow, so I'm doing construction cleanup in order to pay the property, in order to pay the office, in order to renew the business license, and in order to pay everything. So thanks for watching my TV show, Public Interest Issues Show. We're, we used to be on Seattle Community Media, but the Seattle City Council defunded Seattle Community Media. We want that channel back. We want another public access channel because when they defunded Seattle Community Media, what they did is they gave that money to the Seattle Channel. Seattle Channel is competitive with Seattle Community Media. They're not the same show. And the producers on Seattle Community Media cannot submit their stories on the Seattle Channel to have them aired. 
So we need to have more people come forward to ask the governor, ask the mayor, and ask the city council to allot money again for the Seattle community media because that's a public access channel and that gets our stories on the air. So thanks for watching my show, Public Interest Issues Show. Thank you. And I'm heading up this hill. I'm vacuuming and I've got my little vacuum cleaner right here and I'm heading up there. Got to carry it and I got to bring it up these stairs. Got to carry this vacuum cleaner up these stairs. The elevator is brand new and it doesn't work. <sighs> Thank you. Now my friend here is going to film me vacuuming. I've been going each floor. I carry the vacuum. I have the extension cord right here and I plug in the vacuum and I plug in the extension cord because they're testing the elevators. And so we can't use the elevators. So do you mind filming me? Yeah. I got it all set up. All you have to do is hold it like that. Now, uh, I got the vacuum cleaner right here and some of these plugs don't work and some of them do. So I'm off work now. I'm on my way down to my office, uh, Seattle Detective Bureau. I'm a private eye and I'm on my way down to my office so I can get some work done. And if you need a private eye, hey, come on into my office. And if you need a job, a uh, public interest issue, uh, the internet and all that stuff, uh, the TV channels or public access isn't really working right now, but if you need a, a job, People Ready is a temporary company that's hiring different people for different jobs. So call them up and see what they have. And uh, if you need a private eye, Seattle Detective Bureau is me. I'm a private eye, I'm ready to work, and uh, you know, we get, we do every kind of job we can right now during COVID because you know, you gotta pay your bills, you gotta pay your overhead and you've got to keep active. This job's good for me because I walk up and down stairs, up, up and down stairs, up and down stairs, and it keeps me physically active. I'm thinking, I'm active, I'm participating in life, and it gives me storylines for my films. You know, it gives me uh, different things to think about. Uh, at, at times I go back into my office and I write different material for screenplays. 
And then at times different attorneys call me up and they need me to do something. So the thing is, is that don't give up during COVID. There's a lot of things to do. And uh, if you're sitting in your house, do things that are kind, do things that are good. Uh, go to the store, get ice cream cones, watch movies that you enjoy. Uh, don't panic. Things are gonna get a lot better. And the thing is, you just have to be patient. And uh, now that we have a new administration and things are actively going on and the COVID shots are going out and uh, people are starting to participate in life again, I think things are gonna get a lot better. I look forward to our future. And thank you for always watching my show, Public Interest Issue. And I look forward to doing different shows on different topics. And I look forward to writing up something and putting this kind of segment into my next film. So thank you, and I hope, I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's well. And uh, just, you know, take care of yourself. Thank you.